Yeah, what's up, guys? This is Drizzen. Uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, emails and uh, Facebook messages about, like, you know, how can I start uh, to and uh, I would just say, man, uh, start start with your, you know, your like four or five friends that you normally play Smash with or something. Make a couple of face up, uh, not face up, uh, posts on uh, Facebook, um, and then just uh, see if you can find another group that's like in your area and. You know, invite them over to your house and just, you know, if you got eight people, start a, you know, start a, a bracket, you know, uh, seed people, you know, who you think has the higher, higher skill cap to the lowest player there and just, I don't know, run those for like a couple of weeks, you know, uh, you know, if you want to increase, once you, you know, once you get that done, you want to start increasing your community, uh, you know, start, you know, go to these, uh, established, uh, venues right now and then, you know, Introduce yourself to other players get to know other players from different areas uh, There may be a, someone that's playing in the that weekly. That's actually from your town. And you have no idea That they're even there You know like, you know come down to one of my weeklies on Tuesday or Friday or go to Game Haven in, uh in Norwalk if you're in that area on Mondays, I think they got their weekly uh, uh, GVS on and I think they run their weeklies on Sunday I want to check them out too. Uh, yeah, man, just like just talk to people and see if you can. If someone's in your area, start start a, a bracket out at your own place, so you get used to like how to how to how to run a bracket. And then I don't know where you want to go from there. If you want to start volunteering at like CEO or Super Smash Con or even like Shine or something like. You know, I'm sure they're always looking for volunteers, you know, so you can, like, learn how to TO better, learn how to, like, see players. Uh, oh, that was one of my biggest flaws, uh, like, seeding players. When I f first started doing tournaments, I didn't know nothing about seeding because I, I had a different kind of background. I wasn't, I wasn't used to, uh, you know, video game tournaments, seeding players like that. We had, like, a, a different system. Uh yeah, so that's what I would suggest probably start doing. Uh, and then once you get enough people, like, maybe, like, behind you that want to, like, you know, that enjoy you running events, maybe, like, I don't know, rent out a place. Uh, make sure you get, you know, have the decent amount of setups. I would say at least, at least eight for, like, at least, I don't know, 30 people or something. So this way, once you get, like, the first... Uh, half of the tournament done and then you don't really need eight setups anymore you can go down to like four or three or whatever can, then the other setups are just used for friendlies because you know people want to play friendlies after they get knocked out of the tournament or money matches or whatever happens uh yeah make sure uh you don't uh pay too much renting a venue out like well when I, when I started I had a lot of people uh, behind me like in the PM community and and people like knew who I was so like when I when I used to run my events it was, it was like a almost like a bi-weekly thing I would run out the Elks Club in Manchester and I got it for like I don't know it was like 450 or something and you know I ended up getting maybe like 60 players all at like $10 for like the venue fees, so that would cover that cost, and then whatever extra money that you know that the the tournament uh, gave me, I would you know invest it into like get another setup, or it would go towards like my upgrading my stream equipment. Uh, equipment, my stream equipment used to suck, boy, but we're getting there. Uh, so that's my, I would say that's like I would say how to start. Like T O and just yeah man just just get get your group eight friends together or something like that just just run a bracket and just and just post it on uh, on the Facebook groups like yeah we're running a bracket over here we got eight people and then you know I don't know like where your stream is at or whatever but you know just post uh, your stream link with the with the challenge bracket or whatever if you're using Smash GG whatever bracket just post it man maybe. You may pique someone's interest, you know, get a couple of viewers, and just start that way. 
Uh, all right, that's it for uh, for today. So if you guys want to keep hearing any other content that I'm putting out about TOing or whatever the topic is, uh, just follow me. Uh, you can just click the the link one of the links below. You can find all my social media there. Uh, anybody, you guys want this cool uh, merchandise? We always have a, we have a store. That's a link you can click on that. And check our some cool stuff coming out. We're getting a lot of different uh, uh, a lot of different Lumas coming up for the the Katar and uh, uh, CT GamerCon and uh, Mohegan Sun for those two events. So. Uh, yeah, until next time, man. Peace out, guys. <laughs>